Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm 13 years old, and I want to know how did that Titanic sink. Hello, I'm Kathy Offinger. I'm here at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution on Cape Cod in Massachusetts, where I'm manager of operations for the Deep Submergence Laboratory. I was very fortunate to be on the 1985 discovery cruise of the RMS Titanic. Many people still ask how the Titanic sank. We all know that it hit an iceberg, but everybody thought the Titanic was unsinkable. As it turned out, we believe the Titanic came alongside the iceberg. The iceberg actually rubbed against the side of the ship, causing the various plates, which were the construction of the ship, to, to pop. The rivets holding those plates together actually popped, creating a long gash in the side of the ship, which allowed seawater to go into the ship. The ship went down bow first because it struck the iceberg at the forward part of the ship. And the ship, because the bow went down first, started to come up out of the water, making a nosedive, going down bow first. Well, the ship was not designed to be standing vertically. It's designed to be floating horizontally. So when it started to come up out of the water, it was putting too much stress on the structure of the ship, and it broke apart. There are uh, first-person accounts, survivors' accounts, documenting that they saw the ship break at the surface and actually become two, two pieces that sank to the seafloor.